Maya Gallery. Maybe to some of you, this is your first time. Some, your second time. You were here when we first opened. Well, um, we'd like to welcome Madam Halima to Maya Gallery. And we are pleased that she can, you know, spare some time to be with us on this very special evening. On call again. So here we are again. Last year I was here longer hair. This year I'm here shorter hair. Um, so just want to give a little bit of uh, background about Maya Gallery and what has transpired this one year. So when I was outside, I saw these beautiful flowers and it says congratulations on your... Um, first year uh, anniversary of uh, your baby. So Thomas and Jeff, this is their baby, Maya Gallery. And, uh, and Mas once told me that the beautiful thing I have in gallery is that it inspires friendship. And it is true that in this gallery you meet people and then projects take off and then new friendships of, uh, form. And true to the spirit of Maya, the nourishment of the soul, from engaging with the arts. A uh, little bit, I want to you know, take this opportunity to talk a little bit about Mars and Jeffrey. They are very passionate, very sincere. I'm so glad that I met them. I actually met them here. Um, and so far this one year, they have, uh, Maya Gallery has uh, organized 10 exhibitions, 300 artworks um, of 40 Singaporean artists and 30 regional and international artists. And of course, they also have uh, illustrated and uh, did the layout for my children's book. So, and that's my personal journey with them. A lot of bouncing of ideas, and actually, they welcome. They opened Maya Gallery for we we formed our club here, from here with Adrian Pang. So we are very grateful. So you see, they also give back to the community in ways that was not listed in your program booklet. So I'm here to, <laughs> so I'm here to tell you all that. Okay, it gives me great pleasure to invite the lovely husband and wife team of Maya Gallery, Mas and Jeff, to talk about Maya's first year journey. for coming to our special uh, evening tonight. Um, I'm very honored to have, we're very honored to have Madam Halima here to be guest of honor for this special occasion. Um, taking time off her busy schedule to, to, to be here to support us. Um, we're also happy that uh, Mr. Iskandar Jalil, our guest artist, has, uh, uh, is present here as well and is, uh, has, is presenting some of his recent and latest uh, beautiful ceramic works uh, as part of the exhibition. Um, I, will, I also would like to thank all the artists who have come together and who are happy to be at this exhibition. All the 30 artists, predominantly Singaporean artists, regional and international artists. I will name them, bear with me, there's 30 names to, to, to mention. Uh, Mr. Iskandar Jalil, uh, Adi Yadoni, Aida Halit, um, Alec Tan, uh, Amanda Soon, Charlotte Tan. Um, just give me a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chiu Sume, Christine Das uh, from Malaysia, uh, uh, Daryl Goh, Yusa Bloom from uh, Brazil and uh, Huda Fauzan from Indonesia, Mr. Idris Ali, uh, Jeffrey Wanli, my husband, and the artist as well, uh, Wat Karto or Kamis Arifin, um, Kit Muilo, fondly called Mui, uh, Latif Hussein, Lee Ri Siang, one of the youngest artists to present their works here, Manjit Shurjil, she's in Canada right now, Naskaya, our Turkish artist based in uh, Houston moment. Uh, Putu Bonas from Bali, uh, Rofi Zano Zaino okay. is here today, uh, Rosihan Dahim, yeah. Suja Rahman, Suklu or otherwise E. Wayan Sujana Suklu from Bali, uh, Sunar Sugiyo, yeah. <laughs> uh, Tan Ho, who is also Tan the Ho. husband of uh, Miss Kim Muilo, the husband and wife couple <laughs> artists here. Uh, Ms. Tan Sok Fong, uh, so Singapore's fun. talented glass artist. Uh, Mr. Tumadi Patri and Valerie oh, wow. Ng, Malaysian artist. We're happy to have you here uh, to be part of our special showcase. Um, we would like to thank Jeff and I would also like to thank the hard work put in by our team of uh, Maya Gallery, 
exhibitions that we have done, the promotions for local artists, local based artists, a dialogue within the regional. Mm -hmm. We have started to collaborate with uh, uh, galleries. Galleries came to us. They wanted to collaborate with us. Uh, uh, we were from Malaysia as far as Germany. Our artwork has gone also uh, uh, with a collaboration with friends to as far as uh, Shanghai and next month we're going to Hong Kong. Yeah. Eh? And Denmark too. Yeah. So these are all the things in the pipeline, and we want to push, elevate the the positioning of uh, local art in seen in Singapore. We, we want to do that. I think this is one of the vision. Yeah. And in the pipeline for this year, on top of programs, uh, workshops, and all that, we have started uh, courses, training. Our head trainer is uh, Mr. Suno Sugio. Yeah, head trainer, and we have uh, training. Uh, uh, Idris, a master in pencil and pen. He's, he swipes 10 to 15 minutes a portrait, just like that. I think, uh, and uh, Tumari with his batik and other friends who have assisted in all these programs for, for individuals, for groups, and, yeah, and others. For, for this year, uh, it will be another exciting year. Uh, we are, uh, institutions have started to come to us. Uh, uh, there are some schools, uh, international schools, and uh, also foreign schools who want to want to uh, collaborate with us for Institute of Arts in Indonesia too. And uh, National Library, we're going to, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to, we have some uh, plans with National Library. Uh, Esplanade came to us and also Malay Heritage Centers. Uh, yeah. So it's going to be quite a bountiful uh, uh, experience and we really thank everyone for this wonderful support. Each and every one of you has made this possible. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of team, it takes a lot of collaboration between the galleries and the artists and the friends that we uh, that have with us. Yeah. And we are very, very happy and we, we, we hope you know, we can go further. And for the lineup for this year, there will, be a, there will come some special solos coming up. Just to give you a hint, our resident artist and also the head of the, our curatorial team, Mr. Sunal Sugio, is going to have his exhibition, solo exhibition. Can I say the date? Yeah. <laughs> it's in 4th July. It's in 4th July. Uh, okay. And there'll be, it's going to be exciting because we're going to have two, two prompt base of works from Sunar. Sunar was uh, touted as the prodigal son by the Chinese newspaper. Right? On top of oil and acrylics, he's mustered the Chinese ink. And for his solo show, we're going to showcase white spread and it's going to be in Fullerton as well as in my gallery. And a couple of other solos, inclusive our very own by Idris, and uh, collaborations and Collective Asia. We call it Collective Asia. Uh, it's going to be uh, group exhibitions continuously together with the local artists as well as the regional artists. We're going to do this kind of dialogue, and we can learn from each other. Yeah. Okay. So I think uh, last words. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. No introduction. In fact, I remember I met her in New York actually at the UN ladies' bathroom. Just by coincidence, I said, Oh, you're Mena Halima. Oh, you're from Singapore. So that's how we met a long time ago. And, and I'm glad that you know she has been very supportive in a lot of our activities. So, Madam Halima, uh, we welcome you. And you know, would you like to give a few words to me? Okay, uh, first of all, I just want to thank Ms. Tura and Jeffrey for inviting me to this, uh, to this anniversary celebration as well as the launch of your Encore exhibition. In fact, I just came from Bedok North uh, from another kind of exhibition come auction. And this is from the Muhammadiyah Children's Home where they partnered with the Sumbawang Engineers and Contractors where the children did uh, some paintings and then they auctioned it off. And I was so glad that one of the paintings actually uh, managed to get a bit of $8,000. Know? So it was really good. But I think what was more important in that, in, in that auction is not so much how much the painting uh, managed to get through the biddings, but rather that sense of pride and achievement that I saw on the faces of the boys uh, as their paintings were exhibited, their sense of satisfaction, fulfillment, the kind of self-esteem it gave to them. Because not all the boys living in the home, they are, they, they are in a home 
because of various reasons. Some of them uh, because the parents couldn't take care of them, be beyond parental control, some have got juvenile issues and so on. And so they are looking for a way to, you know, find a sense of fulfillment. So through their paintings, they were coached of course, uh, they get that sense, one could see that they know that they were not just recipients of the, uh, they were not just recipients and beneficiaries of someone else's charity, but they were actually also proactively contributing to their own well-being. And that I think was really good. So I saw the power of what art could do to people, you know, in raising their sense of self-esteem. So I was really happy when you said that, you know, uh, you, uh, Maya Gallery also does a lot of charity work, you know, in helping uh, raise funds, in helping coaching uh, underprivileged children and so on. I think uh, art has a purpose. I am not uh, an expert in art, but, uh, you know, I can appreciate good art pieces, but I do see art as having a place in our society where, you know, as you yourself said, you know, there are parents who feel that, and particularly I think in our community, there's a lot of talent and creativity that can be channeled through art. Only there is a need for someone to nurture and guide the young. So this is really a wonderful example, and I want to congratulate you. I think setting up a gallery uh, is not easy. Uh, sustaining it for one year is even more difficult. But what I think is also important is that you are giving opportunities to our local artists, showcasing their work, and from what I gathered, you also help to uh, publicize their work overseas, you know, and bringing in artists from other countries as well. I think that's really, really, really very good because then you allow a, a sharing of experiences, you know, of techniques, different skills, and so on. That kind of synergies are really very good. So, and I think uh, both, uh, you know, Mastura and Jeffrey, you deserve all the support uh, that you can get uh, in your uh, new gallery. But uh, I can see that your work, uh, you have like Iskandar's work, exhibited and so on. So, you know, uh, even very experienced, well-established artists also exhibit the work, your, their work in your gallery. So that's really wonderful. You have the established ones and the new ones. Uh, this cross-fertilization of ideas and experience is truly wonderful. So once again, I want to congratulate you, congratulate everyone for being present here today and giving them your support. I think that's truly wonderful. And I'm sure that you will have many, many more anniversaries to come. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we would like to present um, Madam Hadima with um, a gift <laughs> done from the heart. It's given okay. from the heart to you. Okay. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Oh, yes, I just Yeah, 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 it is. And the gem.